Hello and welcome to the sale of uh, my caravan. It's a Fleetwood Garland 1654, um, a four berth caravan. It makes a twin bunk at the front, a twin bed at the front and two bunks at the side which I'll show you shortly. Um, it was made in 1993 so it's a fairly old caravan but it's in very very reasonable condition for its age. Um, I'll just show you around it. It's going to come with um, Uh, the lock for the towing hitch that will be coming with it also the fresh water and the whale pump for pumping water in fairly, fairly level down this side across the back I'll show you across the back and get a good shot of it You've got the wastewater away, wastewater away container um, there with the pipe. Remember, it's a 1993. It has got one or two little dings on it, but it's got no massive scrapes or dints or anything like that. Um, I bought it for this season. It's done us proud. Got to go now like a storage so I'll get another one next year can you see down that side there it's just a bit up against this post but I'll, I'll try and do my best the windows are all etched with for this for the CRIS caravan scheme to try and prevent uh, caravan theft I never registered it myself but but it, it's, it's etched up and it's probably on the register somewhere so if you want to continue with that, that'll be fine. Just trying to give you an overall picture of the caravan. A bit, a bit of a tight area here. Oh, it's had um, uh, two brand new lights fitted, two, two brand new light units. This corner's all good. I'll try and get down and show you. So you get a better picture of, a bit of an idea of what it's like. All reasonable condition. There has been um, a previous repair on it, on this corner here, which I'll show you now. Somebody's obviously bumped it at one point, at some point, and um, cracked it and, and repaired it. But that, that's the only really bad bit on this caravan. I'll take you inside and let you have a look round. Got the cooker already set up and the fire's on, it's like a greenhouse in here. Uh, this door is, is the stable door, so you can have the the uh, the uh, bottom closed and the top open in summer. Like this. Oh, and above the door there's uh, a, a light, an external light, which works. Let's turn that on. Get to it. Oh, oh dear, not easy trying to film and do things at the same time, but better bear with me please. Now, I don't know if you can catch that. Oh, that light's on now. Off. You come into the caravan. Um, nice big storage area under here, very handy. Massive in there. If you come into the back, Going to the back of the caravan, you have the cooker and the sink and the unit. And I've got the cooker, I've got the grill and everything, it's like a greenhouse in here, so I'll show you that I can get it turned off and get it cooled down a little bit. Storage above, tons of storage space in this caravan. Uh, skylight above. Let's see if you can see if these rings are on. Yep, they're all on. I hope you can see that. All on on the gas. Grill. Grill pan, grill all working. We'll put that back in there because handle's red up. Cooker below. On the gas, all working. I'm going to turn these off now and try and get a bit of uh, air in here. Just bear with me. Make sure the cooker off. Cooker off. We'll turn the grill and the hobs off.
and then what you have, let's close these up, let's see what we're doing, a storage under the cooker, little storage area in there, and you've got your a side cupboard here with your gas taps, you're running off gas taps for the cooker and uh, the hob, a couple of shelves, pull out shelves, the storage cupboards here, what are we getting this? The storage cupboards below, knife and fork drawer, the utensils, and there's the plug for the sink, etc. This cooker has a glass lid, and you just hold it, just, just held back by that, and it comes down and closes on you. Yeah? But I'm going to leave that open for the minute, as it's uh, I want it all to cool down. It's, it's quite hot in here now. And then above, above you have two storage cupboards. That brings us to the sink. This sink, um, it's had a, a brand new seal round it, as has the, um, the, uh, the, the hob, brand new seal round there. And just below every gas ring, there's a, there's a seal on it, it's had all four new seals on there. That brings you around here to um, what is the uh, shower, toilet and sink. That there is just a spare um, plug-in heater, electric heater for the awning. We'll get, we'll get to that in a second. So, on the light, light above, all the lights work. So into the toilet area. It's a Thetford, Thetford toilet with the pull-out set from the outside. Very simple to use. Twist that knob and it sends your clean fluid in. This knob here opens and shuts the gate for the waste. A little tap set up at the side. This pulls out and this is where we're going to get water away if we're not careful. So I'm just going to pop that in there. I'm sure that it works. Turn the hot on. The hot, the hot water gets really hot. The, the, the heat is brilliant. That's the hot water working. And below it is the cold water. Turn that on. Cold water flowing. So that that tap all works as it should. Open that up like that. This water go down, and then this just slides back into here. And then across from the toilet, you've got you've got a little vanity case, a uh, little vanity unit at the top there. Soap holder, toilet roll holder, also a light. These will work on 240 and 12 volt. A uh, little unit here, little glass unit here window for the toilet and the vent then into the shower if you have window stroke vent above shower head soap holder that shower base Not a bad little shower unit, very very functional. And then you've got the curtain that slides around the rails at either side and comes inside across the front. I'll just show you that these taps work in here. You've got your hot tap, hot tap and cold tap. Turn the hot one on first, this is where I probably get wet arm. Water at the shower head, hot water. You can mix these as well so that it doesn't burn you. Cold tap, all working. Back there for um, soap. A light in here as well, on and off. All good, all working. Back out the shower room. And down this side, to the right, you have a uh, mirror there, mirror above. Next, at the side of that, is um, a wardrobe, stroke cupboard. Oop. 
open this up. Got a rail above for hanging caught hangers with clothes on. Plenty of room below. This mirror here is uh, it belongs on the vanity unit above the toilet, but one of the clips has broke, so it, it it won't it won't hold in place. But it's there if anybody wants wants to repair it. Let's put that to one side. Then underneath we've got more storage. Probably a bit dark in there. Under the storage area there. Mirror back. I'm gonna close that cupboard up. That's what it looks like. And then below the cupboard, we've got the uh, colour gas fire. And I've just turned this on. I'm gonna show you that it's working. And what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna pull this little plastic cover back a little bit. And then down, down here, there is the the pilot lights lit so the gas fire is on and trust me that that is nice and warm I'm going to turn that off now because I'm boiling fire off the next door to the fire in the cupboard is the fridge the fridge works on um, 2 volt, two, 240 volt and gas and I've got it switched on on the gas at the minute um, so, th so this is the area to use the, to use the fridge on gas and over here is um, battery the 12 volt and above it the hookup and these are your settings for temperature inside so I'll open up the fridge shelf above little rack above here um, and there at the bottom where you put your milk etc inside the fridge you've got a little uh, uh, freezer box that is nice and cold that hasn't been on very long and that's working on the gas that freezes down fantastic on the 240 but, but very usable on the gas and if I get right in here I'll show you that it's working on the gas by bear with me if you look if you can see in there you can see the flame and the, the and the gas is lit but this works on gas, it works uh, 12 volt, it works on 240. I just use it on the hookup, everything on the hookup, but I want to show you that everything works on the gas. So I'm going to turn that off as well now. That is off. <coughs> and then uh, I'll just pop this, this in there. And it just prevents the door pulling open in transit. Above the fridge you've got a um, uh, plug socket, a 12 volt socket, Above there, then above there is the water heater, the cascade, which firstly you turn that's this plug socket on, and then you come up here, click this on. There's the green light's lit. That means now that the gas heat, that the the gas water heater, the, sorry, the gas stroke electric water heater is now working on the 240 and heating up the water. And trust me, that water gets really, really hot. I'm on fingers and thumbs here because I'm trying to look, <laughs> watch what I'm taping and watch what I'm turning on and off. So it's off. Brings you to the front area. Now this makes up into a double bed. Um, and all you do is you pull, come down here, get hold of this and pull this, pull this out. And what this does, it runs full length right back to to uh, here and then you put your cushions across and it makes your double bed at the front and while we're down here um, there's a, a double plug socket down there that works um, a little cupboard there tabletop then you have a cupboard across there for uh, the zig but there's also storage storage room in there under the bunks Loads more storage room. Uh, oh, them there. Them's the curtains for the awning. Then across here, that's the hot water heater. 
works lovely, works fantastic on the 240. Same again at this side, loads and loads of storage space. And this, and they also have pull out drawers for, get, for getting access under there when, when uh, if you don't want to start lifting the, uh, the, the uh, seats up and everything. And this on the floor here um, is the awning. So you've got the awning here in this bag, and in this bag you've got all the poles to fit it up and everything. All the lights down here work, the caravan. To show you these, this uh, this uh, fly net here, the catch were broke, so I just popped a couple of screws in it to hold it to hold it in place. So if you want to open this, to out with that screw, out with that screw, and it lifts down and just takes it off. Fly screens on it, and of course, and more storage up here. This is above the fridge storage storage area there. The sign of that there's a small clamp but it needs a battery. More storage space here above above the front bunks. One there, one there, two across the front. Also this little clock works. It's saying it's nearly ten past five. These little lights all work. Your curtains all around and, and fly fly screens. So from you come round here now, so opposite opposite the um, fire, fridge, etc. and the shower room is this two is this seating area. Now this bottom section here, that table pops out on a pole and these two seats, uh, the tabletop, the tabletop comes off this pole, you store the pole away in the in the wardrobe and then and then this tabletop slots in the screw here and that groove there which makes the base for the bed just pull the cushions down that makes um, the bottom bunk and the top bunk is up here very easy to use but it's going to make a full of now because I'm trying to do it one handed uh, this is the curtain that comes around on this rail to make this area private for sleeping so clip, one clip up, two clip up, fold that cushion down, lift this up and it clicks into there, so you have that barred up, same at this side, just put this cushion down, lift this barred up, and that clips into there, and all you do is get hold of this section here, which will pivot on these, on these arms pulls out pivots down concertinas out push it back put your locks on there and lock on there then the, then the cushions for this top bunk is here so I unclip this Unclip that, cushions will fall down, just bear with me, fold them out, that makes a mattress, so you've now got your bunk up, just do that one hundred, <laughs> which is amazing because I'm normally thing fingers and thumbs, so there you have your top bunk, <coughs> excuse me, top bunk, um, bottom seating area makes the bottom bunk, I'll take a photograph of that fully set up because I just can't do it, I've just not got enough hands at the minute to do all this. So above the bunk you then have um, a cupboard space there and a cupboard space there, light above and um, we've done the curtain haven't we? This curtain pulls round uh, on this rail and it makes this area uh, this area totally private. Uh, now going back to the awning, um, yeah we've done the awning that's the awning and the poles and this this uh, fire here it's just a plug-in convector fire electric um, and that blows uh, nice warm air when you're in the awning if you need it just pop that back and I don't fall over it so just to summarize 
you're coming through the back door, you sink to your sink, cooker, and storage space below and above. To the left of there is the toilet and shower. Shower curtain that comes round. The shower curtain, yeah, comes round and uh, keeps this area dry when you're showering. Um, gas fire, wardrobe cupboard. Next door, cupboard above. Smoke alarm. Controls for the set for, for the water heater. Fridge below. Seating area, stroke sleeping area, storage above, or oh, this um, this cushion does have a couple of tears in it. Uh, bear in mind you're not buying a brand new caravan. I'll oh, so try and find these in my hand. Right, there's a tear across here, and a tear across there, and it's tearing there. Uh, <clears throat> can't use a three needle and thread to, to save my life to be honest but it doesn't bother me it works it's all functional so um, we'll just pop back outside I'm going to try and show you this caravan again outside so you've got the stable doors light above Uh, all the tyres are good. I'll try and get a shot of the tyre. Then you've seen everything, it's like being here, isn't it? Plenty of tread on the tyre. New back lights. Very, very square at the back. Remember that there's been a repair on this back right, back right in the corner. But apart from that, the caravan is all in very very good condition. You've got your wastewater away there. Um, fresh water in, whale pump, which we saw working at the at the top heads. Give you one more look down in it. Oh and just off to my left here, um, table and chairs. It's a fold away table and chairs. It all falls away into this top bit which then falls back on itself and uh, becomes a carrying case that's coming with the caravan as well hook up lead um, I think the hook lead is probably about 30 foot 40 foot something like that fresh water we'll just show you in here um, on Tuesday the 12th of this month September I fitted um, a brand new leisure battery because the old one had seen better days and I thought well change the battery and uh, have it right for the next person. Have I got the right key? Yeah, it? Yeah. So we've got the brand new, brand new leisure battery. That's three days old. It's now Friday, and I bought it on Tuesday. That's Tuesday, Wednesday. That's for it. Four days old. Brand new battery. Here's your hook up for your 240. Um, this is where you plug your whale pump in for for water inside the caravan. And this here is a, a fairly new water filter. Around the front, you've got the, the, the lock for the toy and eye. Then in here, in the front here, stand back and see that. In the front here, you've got your spare wheel. Spare wheel, gas bottle, probably about half full that gas bottle. Um, leg for winding, handle for winding the legs up. And a scissor jack. Um, oh, and the, the, the hinge broke on broke on this, so uh, it, when I bought it, somebody put cable ties on it to hold it in place. It's very firm, uh, won't fall off, and it it locks. No problem there, and every, every lock on the van locks. The external lights, the rear lights, uh, you know, your brake lights, stop lights, indicators, etc. They all work. They're all good. So I don't think I can say much more now. Um, but thank you for watching this video. Maybe a bit, 
a bit long-winded, but <laughs> I, need, I want to show you what it's all about. Okay, well, thank you for watching. Uh, I'm going to put this caravan on eBay for about 1875, but um, it is. I'm going to use the make an offer button. Um, so I'm a reasonable man. Make me an offer, and we'll see what happens. Okay, well, thank you for watching once again. Bye for now.